Welcome to this instructional video for the VTS Wing Controller, where we'll cover some of its principal features, including how to assign percentages to the three fan speeds, how to program up to four heating periods for each day of the week, door sensor connection options, compatibility with your building management system, and how to connect up to eight wing EC curtains to one controller. Let's begin by turning the unit on by single clicking the on off switch located in the highlighted box. The wing controller has three fan speeds. The percentage value of the speed for each gear can be programmed. See the advanced settings portion of the video and functions A5 through A7 to do this. You can adjust the fan speed by clicking the fan button, which will change between first, second, and third gear. To change the operating mode, hold down the fan button and up button simultaneously. You can scroll between modes by hitting the set button. Your options are heating, ventilation, and heating plus ventilation. The operating mode options you have are determined by your advanced settings. We'll discuss advanced settings in a bit. To adjust the target temperature, use the up and down buttons. If you're using Fahrenheit, a single click takes it up or down a degree, while Celsius adjustments are made by half a degree. To set the time and day of the week, hold down the set and down button simultaneously. Use the up and down buttons to change the minutes setting. To advance to the hour setting, hit the set button. Use the up and down buttons to adjust that as well. Hit the set button one more time to advance to the day of the week. You can adjust that using the up and down buttons too. When you're done with the adjustments, hit the set button to finalize. You can now schedule your heating periods according to the calendar. You can set four heating periods for each day of the week. The controller is currently in calendar mode. To enable calendar mode, see the advanced settings section of the video in the AA function. Hold down the set button to begin changing your settings. Use the up and down buttons to select the day of the week. Press the set button to move to the first heating period setting. Select on if you want it to be active or off if you don't want it to be active. You now set your on and off times for the period using the up and down buttons and set button. Finish by setting a temperature for the heating period. The remaining three heating periods are set analogically. Continue the process for the other days of the week. In order to lock the unit, the lock function needs to be activated. That's function B0 in advanced settings. When this is enabled, you can lock the controller by pressing and holding the down button. You'll notice the lock icon appear in the upper right hand corner. To unlock, simply press and hold the down button again. Your controller must be off to activate advanced settings. Press and hold the fan and down buttons to go into advanced settings. The IP function allows you to input the correct IP numbers for your building management system. Use the up and down buttons to reach your correct number and the set button to enter the value and proceed to the next function. The A0 function allows you to control the operating mode. Zero means you are using a room sensor, one means you are using a door sensor, and two means you are using room and door sensors. The A1 function is to select the heating level settings for electric curtains. Zero is for no heating, one, two, and three are the first, second, and third heating levels. The A2 function controls temperature sensor calibration. If the actual room temperature differs from the one indicated by the controller, you can correct the sensor by using the up and down buttons, the correct amount, to make sure the temperatures align. The A3 function is used to select your mode. Zero means heating mode. One means ventilation mode. Two means heating plus ventilation mode. The A4 function controls the hysteresis setting. This is the difference between your desired temperature and the room temperature after you've turned on the device. This is adjustable by degrees. The A5 function allows you to program the speed value for the first gear. Select a value from 15 to 80%. The A6 function allows you to program the speed value for the second gear. Select a value from 15 to 90%. The A7 function allows you to program the speed value for the third gear. Select a value from 15 to 100%. The A8 function allows you to set the fan stopping delay time from 30 to 200 seconds. The A9 function controls how long the backlight stays on for the controller. You can select between 5 and 600 seconds. Moving on to the AA function, this controls the door optimization function. 
This function is used for wing operation with a door sensor. When the door is opened, the speed is increased by one, two, or three gears. The AB function changes the door sensor work logic. Zero means normally open, one means normally closed. The AC function controls the fan speed settings at the time of cooling down the heating elements. We can set values between 45 and 100%. Function AD has information about the minimum fan speed without the possibility of changing it. Function AE allows you to enable or disable the work calendar. Zero deactivates the work calendar and switches to manual mode, while one activates work according to the work calendar. Function AF allows you to change between 12 and 24 hour clock format. The B0 function gives you the option to lock the controller. Zero makes it impossible to lock the controller, while one gives you the ability to lock the controller. The B1 function allows you to set the amount of time the curtain will keep heating the room after the door is closed. You can set it from 0 to 90 seconds. The BO function is to restore it to the default settings. The settings are restored by holding down the fan button. With the unit off, if you press and hold the set and up buttons together, you will start the second part of advanced settings. The C0 function allows you to select either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Use the up and down arrows in the set button to select your preference. Function C1 permits you to set a minimum temperature. Using the up and down arrows, you can set your value. Function C2 allows you to set a maximum temperature. Hit the set button when you've completed that. The C3 function gives you the ability to change the speed setting for the controller to work with the BMS system. The C4 function allows you to change the parity setting between the controller and BMS system. Zero is no, one makes it odd, and two makes it even. We hope this information has proven useful for you. Please don't hesitate to contact VTS America on the web or via email.